live from Washington, D.C. Jay Sekulow Live. Phone lines are open for your questions right now. And now, your host, Jordan Seculo. Happy Monday. Welcome to Jay Seculo Live. This is Jordan Seculo, Logan Seculo, my brother, is joining me in studio. So make sure if you are watching on Facebook and Periscope, since he's back, we'll definitely be able to get even more of your comments on the air. We talked about it some last week, of course, with the DNC and their focus on abortion, uh, but and, and our new documentary, Abortion Inc. But we haven't really explained what this documentary is about. We played some of the trailers for you, yep. for those of you who view through Facebook and Periscope, but those of you who listen to the broadcast through your radio station or on Sirius XM uh, may not have actually gotten the visual yet, which, by the way, the trailer's up at ACLJ.org, and it's a great brand-new ACLJ documentary. Logan, this comes from our ACLJ films team. That's right. We've done different documentaries about abortion, so I want to make it clear to everybody, this is brand-new, and it focuses in on what we always say is that business of right. abortion. We've done, this will be our third film on the abortion issue. We did one about the uh, origins of the pro-life movement, uh, the stuff that happened in the 80s and the early 90s. We've done one about the personal stories about abortion, whether that's people who were planning on it, didn't have an abortion, or or people that did and regretted it later, or just people who had interesting stories with it. This one, though, is kind of goes a little bit deeper than that. And this is, you're right, this is actually, this is the business of abortion. This is how it all goes down. Uh, it's a little less on the graphic side when it comes to uh, showing you exactly what's happening. There's still, still some of that in there, but really shows you the big money that's being made. This is of one this. of those days, folks. I know we've had those calls before. They're heart-wrenching, and but those of you who are strong enough to make them, who have possibly potentially had an abortion earlier in your life and uh, have uh, asked for forgiveness, but you talk directly about, and to our audience, I think important to know, the impact it's had on you, the negative impact and the haunting impact. Let me explain how you actually get the new ACLJ documentary, Abortion, Inc. It's unique. It's a new way we've done it. So if you go right to our homepage right now at aclj.org, you'll see to where to click to watch the trailer. If you want to see the full-length documentary, you will have to make a donation to the American Center for Law and Justice at aclj.org. Then you'll get an email receipt with a code that takes you to the movie's website. You put that in, and you can watch the full-length feature film as many times as you'd like through that website. So a unique way you can support the ACLJ and get this great new documentary, Abortion, Inc. Folks, you call 877-989-2255 to add your name to this petition. It's very direct. Stop the sale of fetal body parts, fetal body parts that come from these horrendous abortion procedures. We need your name on this petition, so call now, 877-989-2255. The number is toll-free, and as always, you can sign the petition online at aclj.org. We'll be right back. At the American Center for Law and Justice, we are dedicated to protecting your religious and constitutional freedoms. And there's no better way for you to stand alongside the ACLJ than by becoming an ACLJ member. This is such a critical time for our country. The persecution of Christians around the globe is unprecedented. And here at home, the battle is only intensifying when it comes to protecting human life. The ACLJ has just released a new documentary, Abortion, Inc., which exposes the distortions of the abortion industry for what they are. This film strips away the abortion lobby's polished talking points and reveals its true motivations. It's $1.3 billion annual revenue stream. Become an ACLJ member today and find out how you can view this powerful pro-life documentary. Call now, 1-877-989-2255. That's one 1- 877-989-2255 or go online at aclj.org. When a woman gets pregnant, their motherly instincts just kick right into gear. It's how we're wired, it's how we're created, and, and I short-circuited mine. I still remember staring up at that bright light and counting backwards from 10. It was very, very painful. I've never felt pain like that in my life. I remember the nurse giving me sedation and I, she just kept rubbing my arm, shushing me. I didn't want the baggage because I had a vision for my life and it didn't include children. 
When I found myself pregnant, Roe v. Wade had just happened. It was all in the news. I called my doctor. He said, no problem. We can take care of it. I was told that it was just a blob of tissue. I wasn't given any choices as far as ultrasounds or why don't you go home, think about it, and then come back. Nothing like that. There was nothing positive. When I stood up and I fainted, I think I fainted because of the horror of what I had done. I realized that I was missing a large part of me. I actually ended up being pretty volatile and, and got a little physical with the nurse. I slapped her across the face. Um, and I remember because I didn't want anyone to see me. I didn't, I didn't want anyone to know. They don't let you walk back out the front. There's a private exit. And later on in life, I wondered, had I seen someone like me in the state I was in at that moment after that abortion walk out back out the front clinic? Maybe I wouldn't have done it. Hey, welcome back to Jay Secchio Live. This is Elise Hoag. She's the head lobbyist for the abortion industry, and she was one of two major abortion speakers at the DNC last week. And she praised having her own abortion, and you can hear the crowd cheering for her. Take a listen. This is from the DNC last week, the head lobbyist for the abortion industry by 27. When I found out I was pregnant years ago, I wanted a family, but it was the wrong time. I made the decision that was best for me to have an abortion and get compassionate care at a clinic in my own community. And you hear that, folks, I and mean, we didn't keep the clip going. Roars from the crowd there. And she was a center sp stage speaker that also had a Planned Parenthood. Let me go to Than Bennett in Washington, D.C. And Than, uh, the focus of this film is the abortion industry. Talk to people about the federal numbers and the overall Planned Parenthood numbers. And this is just one, the number one abortion provider in the U.S. Yeah, it's part of the reason we made this film, George, so people did understand the gravity both on the political side and the business side of the abortion industry. You mentioned Planned Parenthood, just the number one provider in the world. They perform about a third of the abortions worldwide. Uh, they get one point. They have a revenue of about one point three billion dollars every year. Again, that's just Planned Parenthood, not the abortion industry as a whole. They get almost half of that from U.S. taxpayers, over half a billion dollars. And Jordan, what this movie does is it walks you through some of the numbers of how that funding then triggers down, uh, filters down to 330,000 abortions each and every year. And, and here's the sort of the ratio I like to remind people of. Those 330,000 abortions, those don't represent just a fraction of the pregnant mothers that come into Planned Parenthood clinics. They represent almost all of the pregnant mothers that walk into a clinic. There are only about 5,000 pregnant mothers every year, Jordan, that actually carry that child to birth once they walk through those Planned Parenthood doors. About 1,800 of them end up referring for abortion, and then about 3,000 carry to term. We don't have those exact numbers from Planned Parenthood. Those are approximate. But just to give people an understanding, $1.3 billion, about half a billion dollars from U.S. taxpayers, and then about 330,000 out of 335,000 pregnant mothers that go in, they end up with abortion. It is a huge business, and we can get into this later, but it's also a huge political business here in Washington, D.C. Before we go to the calls, folks, and take some of your calls right now, I want to make sure you know you can be active in this right now by calling 877-989-2255. It's a toll-free number, and it's a petition to stop the sale of fetal body parts. There are too many loopholes in our federal law that allow organizations, the businesses like Planned Parenthood, to profit not just from abortion, but by the sale. So after the abortion, which they make money for, they then take that baby, take them apart, sell those parts individually, and profit from it again. Our laws just have too many loopholes on this. We need to close those loopholes, but we've got to get a lot of support going across the country. We need you on this petition. So call now. It's a toll-free number, 877-989-2255. That's 877-989-2255. Logan, let's get to some phone calls and comments. Sure, let's go to Patricia on line one. Hi, Patricia. Hi. Um, thank you for taking my call. Um, first of all, I'm so humbled by the fact that I'm even talking to you, listen to you every day, and thank you for all that you do. Well, we appreciate that, Patricia, and, and your support as well uh, for the ACLJ for listening and, and uh, for being brave and calling in today. Well, you know, um, I don't really consider myself brave. Brave is the woman who um, is pregnant 
and despite all odds, keeps their children. I have such admiration for a woman who was brave beyond what she thought she was able to do and looked at the life inside of her and cared more about her child than she did herself in her situation. I was not brave. I am not brave. Um, and despite the fact that I'm... But you know, I, I do want to say, and I'll let you continue, Patricia, by telling your story, and I'm sure you've asked for forgiveness and we have a forgiving God, you are brave because you're letting other women out there maybe listening know what this experience uh, uh, makes you go through. And so, in a sense, a warning to others to not believe the lies from Planned Parenthood, not to believe the propaganda that it affects you throughout your entire life. Go ahead, Patricia. And it is a lie. Um, I had an abortion in my early 20s. I'm 55. I am married and I have um, three wonderful girls. Uh, one is my stepdaughter. Two are my biological children. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when you have an abortion, you deaden your conscience. It's impossible to have that and go home and eat and wake up the next day without doing that. And the lady on the stage that so proudly said she had an abortion because yeah. it wasn't the right time has done that and has not come to grips with what she's done. I don't know how you can do that at her age, but having having had a child, um, the moment my children were born, the first thing that hit me was, oh, my gosh, what have I done? Mm. And every birthday every baptism, every every event, every volleyball game, yep. I ripped a child off of all of that. You know, at the American Center for Law and Justice, we always want to give you a way to be active. We fight these battles in courts, but we want you to stand with us. And if it's a political issue or a legal battle, that's why these petitions we have are so important. We have a petition specific to this issue of the business of abortion. This goes to the sale of fetal body parts. And those body parts it's hard to talk about and hard to think about, come from the abortion procedure. So they have the abortion, and then that same abortionist will take those body parts, take that baby apart after the abortion, and then sell them off individual parts to other companies, making profit not just from the abortion, but then from the sale of a dismembered baby. You need to sign our petition to stop this practice. We need to make the law very clear. There are too many loopholes in it. You can do that by going to aclj.org and signing the petition or calling right now, 877-989-2255. That's 877-989-2255. We'll be right back. At the American Center for Law and Justice, we are dedicated to protecting your religious and constitutional freedoms. And there's no better way for you to stand alongside the ACLJ than by becoming an ACLJ member. This is such a critical time for our country. The persecution of Christians around the globe is unprecedented. And here at home, the battle is only intensifying when it comes to protecting human life. The ACLJ has just released a new documentary, Abortion Inc., which exposes the distortions of the abortion industry for what they are. This film strips away the abortion lobby's polished talking points and reveals its true motivations. It's $1.3 billion annual revenue stream. Become an ACLJ member today and find out how you can view this powerful pro-life documentary. Call now, 1-877-989-2255. That's 1-877-989-2255 or go online at aclj.org. I'm proud to be here today speaking on behalf of Planned Parenthood. I think what we need to look at is the business of abortion. We really did treat women like second-class citizens. Planned Parenthood really is Abortion Inc. They believe that they're doing a service. Well, that child is in a surgical tray. I didn't want anyone to see me. I didn't want anyone to know. Hey, welcome back to Jay Secular Live. This is Jordan Secular. We're taking your phone calls at 1-800-684-3110, focusing in on exposing the abortion industry, especially after last week's DNC. I want to dive in a little bit more. And 
because we've got it, it just it worked out well with our timing, a brand new ACLJ documentary. Uh, it's, it's So we've done others on abortion. This one's brand new. It's called Abortion Inc. And it focuses on the industry of abortion, not the politics and law side, but the, the money side and the personal toll. As you heard, and if you were listening to the broadcast, the last segment, Pat- Patricia's call, the personal side as well. People have been through this experience and the pressure they get almost like being, it sounds almost like being like a car dealership. Right. Hey, come on, let's do it. We'll make the deal today because it's cash. That's how Planned Parenthood makes the money. That's why they're an over a billion dollar a year industry. Just Planned Parenthood, not that doesn't include all the other abortionists. Right. Just Planned Parenthood is a billion dollar a year industry, and they're supposed to be a nonprofit health, women's health care uh, provider. But I, Tim Kaine has gotten into some controversy. He's the VP nominee, and he said, you know, he'll strongly support Hillary Clinton. And Clinton's campaign then came out and said. He also supports the repeal of the Hyde Amendment. Now, Than, quickly, tell people what the Hyde Amendment is just in case they need a reminder. Yeah, the Hyde Amendment is taxpayer funding, direct funding, Jordan, of abortions. It has been long in U.S. law that that is not allowed. Of course, we know, we've documented, I won't get into it right now, but Planned Parenthood and others circumvent that law. But if there were to be a repeal of the Hyde Amendment, Jordan, it would mean that when my taxpayer dollar went into the federal government, that dollar could then be directly used for the performance of abortion. Planned Parenthood wouldn't have to play the accounting game that they play where they use that dollar for something else and then use a privately funded dollar to fund the abortion. If the Hyde Amendment goes away, that tax dollar can be used directly for the abortion. That means all of us, everybody listening to this show right now, we'd be paying for people's abortions. Uh, let's play. In some ways, you are already. But. Yes, I mean, we, listen, we fund half a billion dollars to Planned Parenthood. The only catch is it's a it's a money exchange. They can't use that dollar, those dollars, to actually perform the procedure. So, under if the Hyde Amendment was repealed, not only would they still get their five hundred million dollars. They could also get another $500 billion allocated to then pay for free abortions for everybody. That And free because all of us would actually be paying not just money into Planned Parenthood, but for the gruesome procedure itself. And that's why the Hyde Amendment exists, to at least try and prevent. Now, Planned Parenthood, as Dan said, does everything they can to get around that. Here's Tim Kaine, because he's he was a big Democrat supporter of the Hyde Amendment. Now he's the VP nominee of someone almost who... A, almost a pro-life activist yeah, at one point. Yeah, he's, yes, a strong Catholic. Uh, and uh, so, and governed that way as governor, has been a little different in the U.S. Senate. Mm-hmm. The Clinton campaign came out and said, oh, he supports her position in the DNC platform, which is get rid of the Hyde Amendment. And Hillary Clinton's been clear on that. Then he got pressed on it this weekend on CNN, Take a Listen, Bite 42. On Hyde, my position is the same. I support the Hyde Amendment. I haven't changed that. But as a vice president, I had to get comfortable with the notion that I can have my my personal views, but I'm going to support the president of the United States, and I will. So there it is. I personally would support the Hyde Amendment, but I've given that my personal views up, Logan, yeah. as the VP nominee. Again, checking, which I think is all what the abortion industry is always trying to do, and they're happy with this statement from Tim Kaine. I'm sure. Because if they can get you to say, wow, I could be VP, I could be vice president. Exactly. So I'll check my morals at the door. And you start checking your morals at the door, and things rapidly unfold. Yeah, I started, when they started saying Tim Kaine was going to be potentially the nominee, I was like, oh, Tim Kaine, he's you know, signed on some of our stuff, he's always yeah. been supportive. It's like, that's great. And I was like, let's dig and see. Well, if you look kind of in the last few years, knowing that this was a potential, uh, he started to slowly change his tone on abortion. And I think it's a sad thing. I think it's a sad thing when it comes to, your fact, right, that it's a big position that he could potentially have. And to see that, Joe Biden has made similar statements as well. Personally against abortion, yes. government has to be for it, though. His is even more deeper, though, because he was out there campaigning on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so it, Tim Kaine is now, again, I mean, he's completely behind Hillary Clinton. So I don't think he'll have to discuss that much more because... He said, I'll support it. So I, I don't really care what Tim Kaine personally views. If he becomes vice president, I care more about it, what he supports and doesn't support. And he, now I can safely say Tim Kaine supports, as Hillary Clinton does, yeah. the repeal of the Hyde Amendment so that all of us would have to be paying for abortions through our taxpayer dollars. Logan, let's hit the phones again. Yep, let's go to Mark, who's been on hold for a little while in El Paso. You're on the air. Hey, Mark. You know what? Uh, this is a horrible situation, but I got to come clean. I was born during the hippie days. and. Yep. Uh, I didn't have uh, I had a real fear of being a dad because I didn't know what his father was. So abortion is kind of like a quick fix. Yeah, you know, well, that's how they uh, sell it to your father. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that's how it was sold to you, Mark. So uh, the women are not are, are it's unfair for them to carry the whole crucif you know, to be. Absolutely. That's important them. to point out. Is it so, Mark? I'm, it's not it's not it's not in those situations. It's it's uh, it takes two. Uh, to make that child, and in oftentimes it is the uh, man, whether it's a husband, a boyfriend, or or just an individual 
who's putting significant pressure. But Planned Parenthood's okay with that. And those abortion industry, they're fine. Again, it's like the car dealership scenario. If you've got one partner willing to go for it, they're going to say, oh, come on with them. They're right. They're right. And and Mark, I appreciate your honesty there. And I want to point out to everybody, too, in these situations, first of all, we can all be forgiven. And, uh, and second, uh, that it is not just that individual. I mean, they walk in usually very vulnerable situations. Planned Parenthood is selling you on this is no big deal um, and very easy. And, and then oftentimes you're getting pressure from family or, or the partner in that situation, the man, uh, to do this. So, I mean, you've got a lot of pressure and oftentimes this is young women who are in this pressure. I want you to be able to see what we're talking about with this new ACLJ documentary from our ACLJ film teams, Abortion Inc., which focuses in on the industry of abortion. We're going to play the trailer for you right now. This is the ACLJ film, brand new, Abortion Inc. In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortions. I still remember staring up at that bright light and counting backwards from 10. In reality, what abortion is, is the taking of an unborn child's life. I didn't want anyone to see me. I didn't want anyone to know. You're destroying the unborn and committing murder. This really is a filthy business. America will look back on this season in history and will be mortified about what happened in the abortion industry. So, folks, to see that entire film, it's very important and unique and different than most of our other documentaries because it focuses on the business of abortion and the people's personal experience with abortion. You make an online donation to the American Center for Law and Justice at ACLJ.org. The minimum donation, all you have to donate is $5. If you do that, you will then in your email receipt get a code and a website link so then you can watch the full length documentary which runs about an hour and a half this is a re- this, so it's not a 30 minute show you're getting you're getting a full length feature documentary abortion inc so you make that donation $5 minimum at aclj.org and then you'll be able to uh, you'll get a code in your email and the link and you can watch that HD movie stream that as much as you like you can share it with your friends and family uh, hook it up to your TV if you'd like as well so go to aclj.org make that $5 donation minimum so that you get our new feature documentary abortion inc all right let's go ahead and take another call let's go to linda who's calling from pittsburgh pennsylvania hi linda hi thank you for taking my call i'm calling in um yeah i have i'm 58 right now i had an abortion when i was 19 i went to the clinic they wouldn't tell me how far along i was or anything there were no choices given to me except to have an abortion so you actually went uh, in and said, like, kind of, what are my options here? Yeah, I, I asked, I, you know, is it, and I actually asked people, what if I had the child? And it was not an option. And that, you know, just very much talked into having the abortion. So yeah. I did. And I was not, I was 19, I was very naive. I was sure. not a believer in my God. And the next the day after my abortion, I just fell into deep depression, and mm. it lasted for years. Mm. And I'll tell you, it wasn't until I was reading the Bible, and I, like I said, I wasn't a Christian, but I was curious, that I realized I was forgiven. And you are forgiven. And and Linda, let me just say, first of all, hold on, because I want you to, people and, and the women out there like you, to be able to see this documentary absolutely free. So hold on, and we'll get you the code so you can see the new documentary because there's a lot of women with stories like yours. And I think it's empowering to see that uh, it's abortion Inc is the documentary and Linda, you are forgiven. And again, we appreciate you just sharing your story on the air because it's important not to always just talk politics on this and law, which we do and we're handling. And that's what we focus on. But on the radio broadcast to be able to tell stories as well, after we've seen all the politics about it, the DNC and the RNC and every, you, you got one of- who's saying, you know, total RNC has been very clear. No, you know, keep the Hyde Amendment, reinstall the Mexico City, so the foreign funding, defund Planned Parenthood, 
pro-life judges, and the DNC is the exact opposite. I mean, they it's like if you put their platforms together, they they have the same kind of words, except one is no, one is yes. Yeah. So you can be active in this right now by calling 877-989-2255. It's a toll-free number, and it's a petition to stop the sale of fetal body parts. There are too many loopholes in our federal law that allow organizations, the businesses like Planned Parenthood, to profit not just from abortion, but by the sale. So after the abortion, which they make money for, they then take that baby, take them apart, sell those parts individually, and profit from it again. Our laws just have too many loopholes on this. We need to close those loopholes, but we've got to get a lot of support going across the country. We need you on this petition. So call now. It's a toll-free number, 877-989-2255. That's 877-989-2255. Logan, let's get to some phone calls and comments. And very quickly, comments. Go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, I just want to make a comment that men are often forgotten Mm -hmm. in this abortion controversy, and it affects them, too. Um, They suffer a loss just like the woman does, and I just want to encourage the guys to seek out counseling. You know, um, it's just not, not for the women only. Well, you know, Nan, and I appreciate your phone call as well. And I think, you know, you had a personal connection. So hang on the line. I want to make sure too, because it does affect men. So we'll get you that code as well. And and as you said, your you know, husband who had a girlfriend 40 years ago, and he's still feeling this. And right. again, a lot of times the men who are pressuring it or are going along with it at the time, and they're believing the propaganda, but they're also, again, affected by this. And often so, very young. Yeah, very young. And they Planned Parenthood says, don't worry, this is no big deal. You're in and out. And then it hits you at some point in life. It may hit you that day. It may hit you 10 years later or 20 years later, but right. we have a forgiving God and we want to expose this. And look, we've got a brand new documentary. We've done other abortion documentaries before. Yeah. This is brand new. This is brand new. Uh, some of the similar, some voices you may have heard before, but this is content we've never put out there before. It's called Abortion Inc. Uh, it's a brand new documentary from ACLJ Films from the team, our video team that are amazing. You can get that film right now. It's very easy. Just go to aclj.org. Click on, there's a trailer or, or a link that says Abortion Inc. Click on it. You can watch the trailer, do what you want, but it also suggests to make a donation. If you make a donation of $5 or more, you're going to get a link uh, to it with a code that lets you watch the film immediately HD. It's available right now. And again, that's at ACLJ.org. Folks, that does it for the show today. Thank you for joining us uh, inside the ACLJ studios. I want to encourage you to make sure, if you've not done so already, to add your name to this important petition to stop the sale a fetal body parts. Just another way Planned Parenthood and the abortion industry is using loopholes in our law, which are supposed to stop that, uh, to profit from the abortion procedure. So think about that. They get paid to do the abortions, and then after the abortions, they get paid again to sell off that baby's body parts. It's horrendous. It's hard to even discuss and think about, but we've got to stop it. We have a duty as Americans to raise our voice. You can add your name to that petition. It's gaining a lot of support. Call now, 877 877- 989-2255. That's 877-989-2255. We'll talk to you next time. At the American Center for Law and Justice, we are dedicated to protecting your religious and constitutional freedoms. And there's no better way for you to stand alongside the ACLJ than by becoming an ACLJ member. This is such a critical time for our country. The persecution of Christians around the globe is unprecedented. And here at home, the battle is only intensifying when it comes to protecting human life. The ACLJ has just released a new documentary, Abortion Inc., which exposes the distortions of the abortion industry for what they are. This film strips away the abortion lobby's polished talking points and reveals its true motivations. It's $1.3 billion annual revenue stream. Become an ACLJ member today and find out how you can view this powerful pro-life documentary. Call now, 1-877-989-2255. That's 1-877-989-2255 or go online at aclj.org.